In this video, I'm going to introduce the urbanisation case study of London. Welcome back to another Sunday morning coffee video and this is the first video in a series of four looking at the urbanisation case study of London. In future videos I'm going to investigate the development across London as well as the differences in quality of life and then finish off looking at the London Olympic regeneration site. London is the capital and largest city of England and is located in the southeast of the country. The River Thames winds through the capital city and is home to around 9 million people. London was originally founded by the Romans as Londinium in 43 AD and with the Thames River being central to transport and trade. London is considered to be one of the world's most important cities and is extremely desirable for anyone to work and live within the area. London is inspirational in so many different ways and has great influence on the following sectors arts, commerce, education, entertainment, fashion, finance, healthcare, media, professional services, research and development, as well as tourism and transportation. It ranks highly on global economic performance and has one of the largest financial centres. It also has one of the busiest city airport systems and the second largest shipping port in the country. When looking at the population of the UK, London has widened the gap between their population and the rest of the UK. There is an increasing difference with Londoners having higher average earnings and higher house prices. London's population has steadily increased since the 1800s due to the Industrial Revolution and attracting people to migrate from around the UK. There was a dip following the Second World War and then it started to increase again from the early 90s. Younger people, in particular university graduates, are attracted to London for increased job opportunities, higher rates of pay and the vast array of leisure activities that are available. This group of 20 to 30 year olds are then more likely to start a family which will result in natural increase of the population of London. The net migration of London takes into account the amount of people that move into and out of the city. Don't forget that lots of people do migrate out of London as well as the rest of the UK. The people that do migrate out of the city tend to be older whilst the younger generation are choosing to move into the city. London is one of the most diverse cities in the world. People have been migrating to the area since the Romans, Saxons and the Normans. The population today comes from every corner of the world and as you move through the city you are influenced by various different cultures, music, foods and festivals. Thanks for watching, please give this video a like if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel for more content straight into your subscription feeds.